Okay, is my mind right? So, here we are again. This is going to be one of those videos that make you think... I mean, it's it's not really going to be so much about the decoding. You know, I, I still have the Gematria connections because that's what I do. But, you know, let's just touch on the topic of social media, you know, the the internet trap and this human divide issue that we are going through, okay? It's with it's these phones. I mean, when utilized properly, you know, it's awesome. You can just pull it right out of your pocket. You know, you have access to all the information that you can imagine, okay? But it's just we don't have any communication anymore with other humans, you know? It's all about our devices, okay? The likes, the notifications, okay? So, okay, the World Wide Web. I mean... You don't really hear that as much as you used to when the internet was first, you know, brought about to us anyways. Because, you know, I'm sure it's been around before we knew about it, you know. But think about it, World Wide Web. I mean, it, it's like it's like a net, like it's like a trap. I mean, it they portray it. Okay, as like, okay, we're connecting, you know, to other countries. You know, we're, we're connecting to the world, basically. But it is a trap, and we're going to get into it. Look at the Gematria, though, okay? Like www.com, World Wide Web, okay? You see the 15, and you get the 12 in two ciphers. Okay, and then net, you get 12 and 15. Okay? Now, with these decodes, my mind just kind of goes. Okay? So, I hope I organized it good for y'all. Okay? But this is just the creative process. I believe I have my mind right. Okay? So, look how online equals 69 and this is the ordinal cipher abc123 you know like www short for world wide web okay you get 69 okay now facebook right now this is where from what i remember this is the big thing right here, you know, we, we, we're probably all guilty of it at some point, you know, we post our personal information, right, our photos, some of us even have the location on, you know, and it tells everybody where we're at, just, I mean, think about it, okay, and this isn't an attack on Facebook, okay? This is just, this is a video that makes you think, okay, this is about the internet, online, you know, the, the human divide, and I'm going to touch on social media and just some of the apps. So, US, it says, Meta's products and services include Facebook, Instagram, WhatsApp, Messenger, and Quest 2. <clears throat> haven't heard of that one but so it's meta right okay i mean all of these numbers relevant here meta syncing up with net and www look you get the 42 with the reflection i mean you get the 15s the 12 as mentioned before the 39s okay you get the you get it right so 
I mean, this idea has been in my head for a while. I just never really put it out, okay? Just kind of scatterbrained with the idea. But videos that make you think, okay? I mean, you see the Facebook logo, right? Again, it's about meta. Meta, Facebook is under meta. But look, you see the the jail bars, right? It's because we're posting our information all online. I mean, this is a trap, okay? I mean, this is evidence in a court of law. I mean, you some of the ridiculous things that people post. I mean, I'm guilty of it as well. You know what I mean? And then we lose track of our accounts, and they're just out there for all to see, right? Okay, look. Show your face. You get booked. Right? I mean, the name, it's just right in front of your face, you know? Facebook, right? It's a trap. Okay, this is what the internet is. You, The World Wide Web. You saw the net. And again, I'm not picking on Facebook here, but come on. I mean, even face syncs up with net and www, okay? And we're going to get serious here, okay? It, you know, it's not titled videos that make you think in the playlist for no reason. Let me get a sip here. My mind, you know, it just does this. I'm already thinking about the next decode. So we're talking about online, you know, Facebook. Watch what you post, okay? You would be surprised. You think uh, your account's deleted. It's not. It's there, you know. You're sharing your information with all of these apps, all of these websites. Again, show your face. It helps the police to book you. Facebook, right? A criminal suspect is usually taken into police custody and booked, okay? Or processed during a during booking, okay? You see that? Etc. Okay? And I'm I'm not saying that like this isn't an actor, you know? But again, if it is, they're warning you, right? I mean, they kind of have to warn you or give you the truth. They set it up like this, okay? And it's a successful project for them, right? Many arrests, you know, due to people not watching what they post on these social media sites. Again, the internet is a trap. Videos that make you think. Math to con, okay? Hopefully... You know, the photos are here. They don't cut the video off. The audio is good. You know, but if I if I have to do it again, I will. You know, I'm here for y'all. I got y'all's back. You see the handcuffs? Okay. Watch what you post online. Okay, now you're you're looking at the reverse reduction cipher here. And you see how evidence equals 41, just like Facebook, okay? So evidence syncs up with jail and again with Facebook, okay? And you see the the opposite ciphers there with the 14 and 31. I mean with the reduction and the reverse reduction. You see that? Okay. So it says, I mean it says it. Look. The social network, thefacebook.com. I guess it, that's what it was called, I guess. Launched in February 2004. Harvard students who signed up for the service could post 
photographs of themselves and personal information about their lives, such as class schedules, clubs. That's bullshit. You know what I mean? I'm sure they're a part of these secret societies too. Okay, this is an agenda to take your privacy. I mean, okay, February 2004. Don't trust Harvard, okay? And we know about Yale already with the skull and bones. Okay, so this is what it is. What is metaverse, okay? Is this already a thing? I mean, am I going to be around for this? Like, I don't know. Can somebody just take me back to my childhood already? But maybe not actually because actually if I can start over knowing the truth, yeah, bring me back, you know? But metaverse is a virtual world, okay, with shared 3D virtual spaces operated through multiple virtual tools, excuse me, like our real and dynamic world. It is a digital world where everything would be online in an immersive 3D real-like environment. So... Any of y'all young people excited about this? I mean, am I just the old man here? I don't know. I kind of like just the real real life, going outdoors, interacting with people. I mean, it is, you know, I'm, I'm good. You know, I can pull out my phone. You know what I mean? I, I mess with the phone a little bit, you know, but as far as like a, some fake world, I don't know, like... And I don't even play video games anymore. I mean, if I did, I mean, it'd probably be like a a rigged sports game. But I don't. I just don't anymore, okay? So what about, are you all interested in, again, videos that make you think, right? I am math to con. You know, we got the gematria, but, you know, this is just something that's on my mind, are, are y'all interested in meeting a partner in Metaverse? I mean, to be honest, I'm not. You know what I mean? It just kind of looks like... It just looks like a video game. You know, it's... No, nah, I'm good on that. Okay. To be honest, I am honest, but again, you know, programmed to say some of these words, the English language, it's, ah, but, you know, I'm more into this, you know, just the old school, okay, you meet, you meet somebody, you know, maybe at work or out and about, you know, at the movies, wherever, you know. It looks like they're sharing a milkshake. Again, these are, these are, I guess these, I don't know. Are these just stories? Is this just, am I just, is this in a fantasy in my head? I don't know. Like, but it's just more natural, right? You know, you meet people the right way in person. You get to know them. Okay. Not with the texting or the dating apps, right? It's not the way to do it. That's not how you really get to know a person. It's interesting how in Gematria, dating site syncs up very nice with metaverse, okay? Again, the metaverse, like this virtual living, I mean... I'm good. I mean, if you have like a, just get like a PS5 or something, you know what I mean? Play a game for an hour a day or whatever at night. I don't know about this, y'all. Videos that make you think, okay? I don't think we have much more here, but we, again, it's, it's serious, you know, like coming with the Gematria, you know, this is, it's a different video. These dating apps, okay? Now this is, this along with porn, okay? This is the downfall 
to what relationships are supposed to be, okay? I'm not saying it's every situation, but maybe I should speak for myself because I fell victim to this, okay? And I, and I don't really want to blame it on the phone because it's about the person's intentions to begin with. But again, think about the elite people that put things like this out there for us. Okay? It's a trap. Again, videos that make you think. The internet. The world wide web. Okay? It's a trap. We're all guilty at some point, you know, of doing something online we're not proud of, okay? But even if you're in a relationship, I mean, you're tempted, right? Even, you know, you can't even have like a Facebook account anymore. And I'm again, I'm going to speak for a male. You know, like I don't really get the messages like, pressuring me to cheat, you know, if I had a girlfriend or if I didn't, you know what I mean? I'm just saying, look, it's a distraction. Okay. And these phones come with these apps. You can't even go on Facebook. I mean, I, I do know some females and any app where they can get messages, it's just going to be cluttered with filth, right? Okay, that's just how it is, I guess. I don't know. I mean, like me personally, I respect women, you know, but I am attracted to women, but I understand we're opposites. We don't come about the relationship the same way, you know, but we have to work together. I mean, look, <clears throat> y'all women can probably relate with this. Look at this. You know, you'll give a guy a number that you meet on one of these sites, okay? And then you get one of these texts, right? You know what I mean? Can't even get a full sentence. And it's it's just about sex, right? Again, I'm not saying I'm, you know, I don't like, I'm good. I like sex, you know what I mean? But there is a time and place, you know? And look, do you, if there's any women out there, right, you, you get these texts, right? So, I don't curse, but not cool with Harvard. I mean, I don't know. I'm not, I'm not, not good with these colleges, right? These colleges are just bullshit businesses. Okay, just out to get money, right? Right? They they push their people into power from these secret societies. But, okay, so where are we at here? So, Harvard, right? It says Facebook launched, you know, it was Harvard students, right? I'm not, again, it's not a decode or a diss on Facebook. I'm not getting into it, but maybe it is. I'm hit, maybe I'm hitting y'all with the duality, right? So Harvard University syncs up with dating site and metaverse. You see? 108. Okay, let me get a sip. Videos that make you think my mind's just going here. Okay, I hope if you if you're sticking along with me, you know, I'm calm. I got my mind right. Okay, just let it roll with the decode. So F Harvard, right? Harvard University leaders, faculty and staff enslaved more than 70 individuals during the 17th and 18th centuries when sla slavery was legal. In Massachusetts and I'm not one of I'm not one that is I'm falling for the scripted stories you know what I'm saying I just know about the elites and the people in power and I'm tired of it you know what I mean so let's just get at them real quick I mean you see how enslaved 
syncs up with MySpace, right? It's the internet. It's a trap. Videos that make you think. Don't fall for it, you know? Save your families. Uh, stop this human divide. This is a divide on the human race. Okay? Now, to me, this is kind of what I remember where this began. All right? MySpace. I mean, I think I had an account, but <clears throat> wasn't... I think I was still into like going outdoors at the time, you know, some basketball or something. Okay. So what about the U S a Patriot act as a result of the scripted nine 11 terrorist attacks in New York? Okay. The twin towers world trade center. Okay. Interesting. It says it's 1026. That's interesting. Patriot Act enacted like 126. Anyways, this is what it was, right? This is where the privacy went away. Okay. This is it. It was all staged. Okay. Just to get in more on your privacy. Again, they probably are in on it, but they're trying to give you an excuse because. With They have to let you know what they're doing, okay? And the Patriot Act, when Tom Brady and the Patriots went on to be the greatest team ever, okay? The greatest franchise, what, for 20 years? You know what I mean? The New England Patriots. Okay, videos that make you think. I'm good. Are you all good? I appreciate... Everybody out there, okay? It looks like y'all are... You, you see the work I put in? Thank you for listening to me. The videos are getting longer now. I don't know why, but... Hmm. Okay, look. Okay, so yeah. The Patriot Act made it easier for the government to spy. Why did they use that word? On ordinary Americans, they didn't even try to hide it. See, they're telling you. By expanding the authority to monitor phone and email communications, collect bank and credit reporting records. Okay, so it kind of sounds like <clears throat> it's not a free country, right? What's the definition of free? What? We're the home, so okay. Land of the free, home of the brave. So I, we're the brave. You see, they got to hit you with land of the free, home of the brave. Land of the free. They're talking about them, and we're the peons, we're the brave ones who are putting up with it. Oh, I don't know. Videos that make you think. Okay. So Tom Anderson and Chris DeWolf, employees of the internet marketing company e universe created myspace and this is when like i said this is what i remember where it started the social media bullshit okay the internet you know with putting your private information out there because they trick you into worshiping these false idol celebrities okay look my space they're tricking you it's not your space right manipulation mind control and and they tell you you see what i'm saying they're hitting you with the the bullshit my space it's not they just look this 2003 it's after the patriot act where they told you you see what i'm saying they told you what's up just because it's called my space y'all Okay, Tom Anderson, Chris DeWolf, okay, created MySpace back in 03, you see? Look at their names. Look, sync up with Internet and World Wide Web. I mean, you see the 181, right? The 42nd Prime, and you see 42 and Internet. Okay, again, I'm not... You know, 
if I did go out of the way to do a decode on y'all, it would be fire, right? But this is videos that make you think, yeah, I got the pick. You know what I mean? Right? This is what we're going to do, you know? Okay? Now look. So look, with this internet, okay? We have this child, they say child molester, right? Either way, it's, this is a threat on everybody, but especially young people, okay? These kids have, what, a phone at so young. Like, this wasn't the case when I was younger. You know, we had the pager. Remember that? <laughs> What it just sent the number of somebody and you called them <laughs> on your landline, right? So, okay, look, we have these cases, right? A thrice convicted child molester was openly courting young boys on MySpace and was arrested as a result of the probe. Okay, so we have a problem all the way around here with the internet. Okay, it's good and it's bad. Okay, it's duality. Okay, look how child molester syncs up with World Wide Web. <clears throat> so, I mean, I can't, I can't even imagine, right? I mean, you just... You just have to be there for your, your children, you know, make them comfortable if they have any questions. Okay. Like, but I, I don't even, it's hard to even imagine, you know, what your kids may be seeing on their phones too. Right. I mean, all they got to do is press a button, you know, they give out their phone number. Look, you see, you see the text, right? I mean, it's a trap. I mean, there's no excuses, okay? But they know what they're doing with this internet thing, these dating sites, okay? This is giving everybody access to people around the world, okay? And it can be used for good, but you see the bad that goes along with it, okay? So look how prison synchronizes with myspace and social media okay again you know very easy for some of these people to slip in someone's dms you know they don't really know the person right you know they say the wrong thing you know i'm i'm, I'm gonna be honest facebook messenger you know what what was it like eight, nine years ago? You know, hey, I got mad at my girlfriend. You know, she said the thing that I didn't want to hear. You know, I I was angry. I tossed a threat on Facebook Messenger out of anger. Okay. I got arrested for that shit. You know what I'm saying? I had to pay for that. But I'm just saying. Look, prison syncs up with this social media, internet bullshit, right? Look, and it goes both ways, okay? It's it's not just, I'm not going to emphasize like it's a man, female problem. I'm not going to get into the numbers about the percentages, okay? Just be aware, you know, there's good and there's bad people. Again, duality. Okay, maybe it just has to be like that, but there's women predators, there's men predators, all right? So just be there for your children. Don't overwhelm them. You know, they have to have their space. We have to adapt with the world, okay? You see the picture, videos that make you think, okay? I'm not even sure if we're 
we might have a couple more slides. Okay, but don't fall for the trap, y'all. Okay, we've all made mistakes, but we need to move on, learn from them. Okay, and... This, you know, we all know that we know about this topic, right? We know about it. You know, it comes up, they use celebrities with some cases. Okay, look, they'll throw a celebrity under the bus or whatever. You know, these are elite people doing this. Okay, this is not your average person. I'm not saying that. There's not like some low-level pimp, you know what I mean, with some prostitutes, you know, ha he, where he, ha he has them working for him. But what I'm saying is this is an elite problem, okay? And I'm going to talk about it, right? I mean, I'm, I'm real here, you know what I mean? Nobody tells me. I do what I want with my videos. Nobody tells me what to do, what to say. I'm respectful. I come with the gematria, the connections. You see how sex synchronizes with all that, right? Okay. You see that right there? It's not a coincidence when these things sync up, okay? This is the English language, okay? It's the world is ran on this, okay? Letters and numbers. And all of these apps can get it, right? You know what I mean? It's all about the privacy, you know? Again, we got we got the dating apps right y'all probably have a favorite out of all of these you want me to pick i'll pick okay again th these are just robots on all of this shit okay this is not real people no more these are robots now back in the day back in the day i'm messing with meet me right here you see back in the day all right but it's all bullshit Okay, all of them can get it. Videos that make you think, right? I miss those days. You know what? It's been three, three and a half years. Going on four years, right? Hmm. So, the good old days. You just go and meet somebody. Maybe just go have a drink. You know, now... You know, you go to the drink. Anyways, is that a bar? I don't remember any flower, like a flower vase at the bar. But anyways, videos that make you think. Yeah, you go to a bar, you meet somebody. Now, if you want to try it, glued to their phone, right? Glued to the phone, no eye contact. Okay, they're wondering about the latest like. And it goes both ways, men, women, okay? Such a refreshing pick. I mean, it's it's a scripted pick. I mean, it kind of looks like a like a like a bubble gum commercial or something, right? It's something to do with teeth. Okay, I don't know crest. So we touch. I bounced around a little bit on here. It's the internet. It's a trap. The human divide, these social media apps, okay? Watch your children. Don't invade their privacy. Adjust with the times, okay? Teach them good values. They're going to be influenced at a certain age by their surroundings and by these things you can't control. And they're going to blame you and say, teach your kids better, okay? I'm Math Tucon. You know, we're not perfect. You're doing just fine. Don't fall for the trap. Okay? The internet, the world wide web, 
these social media apps, these dating sites, get out, go to the park, okay? Get a fresh breath of air, right? Take your dog for a walk if you have one. If you don't like dogs, strap that cat up and walk that thing. (laughs) Videos that make you think. Until next time.